Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another trailer. This one is called Richard Jewell. I don't know anything about this one, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this one, uh, butt naked, and find out. All right, here we go. Hmm? Let's get a new tape going. All right, Richard, here's what we're going to do. We need a voice exemplar. I want you to say into this phone, there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Richard, you're a national hero now. Thank you, sir. But I was just doing my job. You always look at the guy who found the bomb just like you always look at the guy who found the body. Jewel fits the profile of the lone bomber, a frustrated white man who is a police wannabe who seeks to become a hero. We're running it. Damn. You're a suspect. You don't talk. I talk. Say, I don't talk. This might be the only way to clear your name. I want you to say there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Stop trying to be their best friend. I was raised to respect the authorities. Authorities looking to eat you alive. There's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I'm sorry, what? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. The United States government and the media. I do want to help y'all. I'm law enforcement too. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Did he do it? Richard Jewell is an innocent man. He's a hero. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. One more time, just a little louder. I report the facts. You've ruined this man's life. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Do a couple more. Y'all got me now. Now, I'm not too interested in actually seeing this film, but I am going to go research this uh, guy's story and what actually happened to him. This is the first time I've actually uh, heard of Richard Jewell. That bombing sounds kind of familiar, but this is the first time I've actually heard about him. So yeah, I'm going to go uh, get my Google slash crawl across the internet and get some more information about this guy. But that's kind of fucked up if he did do it or didn't do it. <clears throat> or when they try to frame you or when they question you. That's why most of the time when you have a legal representation and when you're being questioned, they tell you not to say anything. Just sit there and shut up. Even if you're innocent or guilty, don't say anything. Sit there and shut the hell up. Because a lot of times people talk themselves into situations and don't even realize it. It happens all the damn time. But we shall see. This looks like this might be decent, but now I'm more curious about trying to figure out what actually happened to this guy in real life. So that I'm actually going to immediately go hop on and go see what actually happened to this guy. But otherwise than that, let me know what you think about this uh, particular trailer for uh, Richard Jewell and his... Uh, situation he got placed in with this bombing in Atlanta but otherwise than that I will catch you all in the next one all right everybody now after doing some more research on Richard Jewell he was actually cleared of course the media ruined his life and then they came back and actually found out that the actual bomber was Eric Rudolph now I remember Eric Rudolph I never because I guess I was too young but I never realized that Richard Jewell went through all this because they tried to actually pin it on him and the actual bomber was Eric Rudolph. Now that dude, I remember that bastard. But that's crazy. And he, Richard Jewell also died at age 44 from heart failure, from uh, complications of diabetes. So he passed away. But at least he got his name cleared for doing the right damn thing and then having the media.
media rip his whole life apart. But yeah, Eric Rudolph, I remember him. Now, Richard Jewell, I never realized that all this happened to this dude. Damn. Well, at least he died with his name cleared. Because he died in 2007. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, I'm going to check the movie out now. Crazy what the media can do to you. They'll point the finger at you, then it'll be stuck on you. Because most people run with the information that's given to them. And they never actually go find out the truth themselves. You live in a day and age where you have all this technology where you can research and find stuff out just like that, but no people people really don't. They'll just see something on the internet and just run with it. <sighs> I tell you, but otherwise than that, I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.